We truly appreciate all of our essential workers during this time, and in particular, we appreciate the contributions of all our migrant workers. And that's why, as you heard just now from Minister Josephine, we are mounting an all-out effort to ensure that we take care of their well-being during this period. Um, at the broader level, if you look at the situation in Singapore, this is um, one about one month since we've introduced the circuit breaker. Um, we are seeing progress on the, in terms of the outbreak in the foreign worker dormitories. The infection numbers every day still remain high, and I think they will remain high for some time as we continue to do active case finding. But the situation is under control, and we are doing everything we can to ensure the well-being of the workers and to take care of them. For the rest of the population, for the general community, our circuit breaker measures are working. We are averaging about 10 to 15 cases a day in this past recent week. Uh, so we are making progress, but we call on everyone to continue persevering with the measures that we have put in place so that we can continue to bring down the local transmission numbers. And at some point in time, we will be able to work towards a gradual relaxation of some of these measures and work on resumption of activities and do so in a way that's safe and sustainable. Uh, we are making progress. You can see that in the daily reporting of our community numbers. Uh, it is trending down, so we are making good progress, but we still cannot let our foot off the pedal. We still have to continue to work hard to make sure that uh, the measures are in place. Generally, we, we continue to stay home as much as we can, minimize contacts, and then um, work as hard as we can to bring the community numbers down decisively. Even today, when you talk about 15% of the workforce that's still continuing to commute daily to work, we have put in place strict guidelines for the employers to ensure, for example, that safe distancing measures are in place at the workplace, that the workers wear masks when they are at work, that um, they do not socialise amongst themselves, particularly in the pantry, rest areas, when they go for lunch break, that you need to have staggered hours so that there is no congregation. Uh, these are very important guidelines and we will want to ensure that these guidelines are upheld and then expanded upon even as we uh, open up and allow more workers to continue to work. Right? So it, it ought to be in the same manner. Right? As we resume activities, it cannot be going back to the old practices, business as usual. We have to put in place new guidelines, new standards, um, literally workplace safety standards, but now safety in the broader context. You, you almost need safe distancing inspectors in every workplace, making sure that all of these standards are upheld so that workplaces can be safe when we resume act activities. And to do all that well, uh, on top of that, we need to complement it with a regime of testing. That's why we talked about earlier how we can scale up testing regularly. And then a uh, uh, some technology enablers to allow us to ensure better tracking and monitoring should there be a confirmed case emerging in the workplace. So these are a whole series of new protocols and measures that we are already planning and we will put in place as we get nearer the end of the circuit breaker and we think about how we can allow more people to, get start, uh, to go back to work on a regular basis.